Hey what's up guys this is Sora Wave from Techyard and today I'm back with MIUI Pro for Redmi 4X or the Redmi 4 I mean the Redmi 4X for Indian market is called Redmi 4 uh, for international uh, users it is Redmi 4X powered by Snapdragon 435 well MIUI Pro it, it is just actually an upgradation over the stock MIUI you have to flash this ROM over your MIUI you can't flash this ROM on any other custom ROM. You have to be in MIUI. Then you have to, you know, just uh, flash it. Anyways, uh, talking about this ROM, Nougat. Yes, you are gonna get Nougat. This ROM does support Nougat and it has Nougat functionalities. I'll show you that. Yes, no, 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 no. If you are thinking about multi-window, no, that feature is not in here. I, I tried to do that, but it didn't work. So I believe, I, I really think that the uh, multi-window mode is actually for MIUI 9. I mean, Xiaomi is showing us a lot of teasers and something like that. A lot of rumors are coming out every day. I believe MIUI 9 will have that feature. Anyways, no good. At least we have got something to show off to people, right? <laughs> if you're using Redmi 4, obviously. And with uh, one more update, I forgot to tell you is that uh, Redmi 3S or 3S Prime, uh, there won't be any videos regarding them. Sorry for that. We are stopping that development as of now. Well, there are uh, additional settings you can see. Date, language, privacy, quick ball. Quick ball is a good addition. It was previously there though. I mean, it is a great addition in uh, MIUI as well. And there is the Mi Mover. All the features are like MIUI, just few tweaks, few upgradations, somewhere a few features has been added new. Uh, second space is also work, also working fine. I tried that a uh, few hours ago and it worked fine. Uh, by far the best uh, custom ROM that you can go for a uh, Redmi 4 or Redmi 4X. I mean, it's really stable. Battery backup is good. Although this uh, gesture doesn't work, double tap uh, screen to wake. It does not work for most of the time for almost 95 percent of the time it does not work so uh, i would say that don't uh, hold too much hope in case of this uh, gesture or this feature and uh, guys if you are really loving our video make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you haven't done it already and if you have already done that do comment below your queries if you really have uh, any and uh, do like our video and share with your friends who have the redmi 4x or redmi 4 and uh, there are some you can see the first uh, app is in Chinese uh, sorry is in Russian or Belarus I don't know what what language it is Dolby Atmos codec is there you can do a lot of stuff with that if you are familiar with Dolby Atmos and if you are not familiar with it try it I mean just try it once and you will get good uh, you know output in your sound quality Magix or Magix whatever it is I call it Magix manager it is there uh, to do stuff that we do me pop is there uh, well, uh, Volte calling does work. Uh, this is the last time I'm showing a Volte calling. Furthermore, I won't be showing a Volte calling. Yes, Volte calling does work without any issue. And uh, I would say I haven't tried video calling though. Um, but Volte calling works. The call receptions are great. I uh, I am very happy with it. Well, camera, camera turned out to be good. Uh, in low light, in very low light, the camera is shitty. Uh, sometimes it fails to focus in low light conditions, but in daylight conditions, it is great. Uh, even in the artificial condition that I am currently shooting this video, this YouTube video though, uh, it is really good to be honest guys. Um, in low light, you might face some difficulties, but apart from that, it was good. I um, mean, my overall experience with the camera turned out to be good. And uh, to be honest, uh, uh, actually the Redmi 4's camera is pretty good regarding the price tag. While shooting video, while uh, capturing video, the total image might be get zoomed in a bit, but uh, that's called video crop, and that is uh, that happens even in very high-end cameras like GH4 from Panasonic, or even Sony uh, Alpha 7 S Mark II has a 1.5x crop. So um, that's really uh, you know you have to accept it. 43,000 score in Antutu. Uh, yes, the score is good. Stability is good, which means you can play games if you want to. There are some extra options added in the you know, restart menu or menu like that. Recovery mode is there. You can directly go to recovery mode. Um, that's really a good addition, to be honest. RAM management turned out to be good. Uh, I really love, loved it. RAM management. No multi-window mode, though. 
uh, I'm I know you people are still expecting that but wait for Mew i9 for that uh, multi window mode will be there and yeah we all know we are waiting for that uh, there are some a uh, few tweaks that you have to uh, use by yourself and uh, this is all for today guys uh, there is nothing more that I should show you use the ROM the links will be in the description below make sure you check that and yeah the fingerprint scanner works pretty fine without any hassle only this gesture is not working this is all for today guys like this video if you loved it put it down if you liked it do subscribe to our channel and other videos will be in the description make sure you check that till then bye people have a great day hope to see my next video stay awesome stay subscribed